Okay, here we're still dealing with interest, but this problem says find the total amount due on the loan. So if we're going to find the total amount due, we first of all have to know how much we have to pay in interest, and then we're going to have to combine that with the original amount we borrowed to find how much we actually have to pay. So for our problem here, we're borrowing $3,800 at 6.5% for six months. So I know that the interest will equal 3800 because that's the principal times the interest rate. Well, remember, this is the same thing as saying 6.5. So if I move the decimal over two places to make it a true decimal, I would have to multiply by 0 0.065. And then for six months, that would be 6 twelfths of a year. Now again, you could use your calculator. If you have the 84 um, or an 83, you can type it in just exactly as you see it. But if you don't, then you can always go backwards. You can just do 6 divided by 12 and find out what that is, and then multiply that number by 0 .065, and then multiply by 3800. We should get our answer is $123.50. Now this is our interest. We don't just want our interest, though. We are supposed to find the total amount due on the loan. So the total amount due is going to have to be the 3800 that we originally borrow plus the interest of 12350 So when we add these two things together, we get $3,923.50. This is the total amount that we're going to have to pay back over the life of this loan. Let's try another one. This one is set up more as a application problem or a word problem. So it says a student borrows $1,200 at 8% for five months to pay for books and tuition. Find the total amount due. So find how much he's going to have to, he or she is going to have to pay back at the end of this note. So again, to start with, we're going to have to figure out how much they have to pay in interest. So that would be the principal of 1200 times the interest rate, which in this case would be 0 .08, times the time in years. So since we're dealing with five months, that'll be 5 twelfths of a year. And again, we'll put that into our calculator and figure out what that is, and that should be $40. So the interest they're going to pay is $40. Now the total due, we would have to originally start with that $1,200 we're borrowing. We're going to have to pay that back, plus the interest. So when we're said and done, we're going to have to pay back, or that student will have to pay back, $1,240. All right, last one in this section. This one's very interesting. The owners of Clear Lake Marina bought six canoes to use as rentals at a cost of $550 per canoe. If they borrow 60% of the total cost for nine months at 12.5% interest, find the amount due. Okay, well, first of all, they're buying these canoes, $550 for six of them. So we need to figure out what that is. So the total price of those canoes is going to be $3,300. Now it says they're going to borrow 60% of that money. So we need to figure out what is 60% of 3300 We need to multiply that by 0 .60. So that tells us that they're going to have to borrow uh, $1,980. Now, they're going to borrow this amount of money for nine months at 12.5% interest. So the interest would be the 1980 times the 12.5% interest would be 0.125 times the nine months, which would be nine twelfths of a year. So if we put that in our calculator, we should get 185.6, now this would be 0.62, blah, blah, blah. We need to round it up because we always round up whenever we're dealing with money. They never works in your favor. Now for the total due, that would be how much we borrow, which is 1980, plus the interest for a grand total of 2165.63.